There are natural remedies that are all around us that have been tested in peer-reviewed literature that reveal that many of these things can heal disease and even reverse depression. We're going to look at five of them that have been studied in the scientific literature and they may be growing all around you or maybe you already have them in your house. Hey everybody, Chad Cruiser here with Health and Homestead. One of the great things is I found my country property. I found two of these natural remedies for depression right on my property and I live way up north where people are more prone to depression. I myself have gone through depression I had come down with stomach trouble living overseas, and as a result, what ended up happening, when my stomach healed, my depression healed. It changed my life, and my life has been better than ever before. Now, let's look at the first one that you may already have in your kitchen, and that is the herb rosemary. Here's research on rosemary tea. Previous research was conducted on animals and found that rosemary had an antidepressant impact, but the question still remained, did it work on humans? Well, we need to begin with looking at something called BDNF, or brain-derived neurotrophic factor, and psychological disorders. Now, according to the Journal of the American Nutrition Association, BDNF levels are the most reliable biomarker for depression. What they found is that often when people are depressed, they have low levels of this BDNF in their brain. Now, there's significant evidence that shows that low levels of BDNF may be part of the cause of shrinkage of a portion of the brain called the hippocampus. This may be one of the reasons why depressed people often have poor memory after prolonged periods of depression. The great news is that there may be ways to reverse this damage. And here's research on this rosemary tea. Researchers reporting in the Journal of the American Nutrition Association tested a tea made from five grams of the herb rosemary and looked at the impact on various biomarkers including BDNF levels. And this five grams of tea was made by boiling the herb in 100 milliliters of water, and they drank it one time a day for 10 days. And it was shown to increase levels of BDNF in the individuals who consumed it. Now, yes, more studies are needed to find out, but the great thing is this is something that is just a normal, healthy herb, and so it's probably very likely to have very little side effects. If you don't have any in your home, you can always get a tea, and you can try it out for yourself. I'll have some links down below. We'll get to the herbs in just a second, but another thing that has been shown according to the peer-reviewed literature is that exercise also can increase BDNF levels in the brain. Now, BDNF, this brain-derived neurotrophic factor, has, has been called something like miracle grow for the brain, meaning that it, just like you might add miracle grow to plants to keep them healthy or to help them grow strong, so too with this BDNF, that as you get more of it in the brain, it may not only keep the neurons, the brain cells that we already have healthy, but it may actually increase the production of new neurons within our brains. Incredible. Right in front of me is a wild herb that I find growing right on my property. And this has been shown in the scientific literature to help depression. And it has kind of a strange name. It is called mother wart. And you may not like the word. When we hear that word wart, we think of something wrong with our skin. The word W-O-R-T is an old English term that simply means plant. And so this is a mother plant. Now, why might it have been called mother plant or mother wart? is because historically this was used for women's issues, both for menstrual issues. It was also used during either pregnancy or after. And once again, you wanna be careful during pregnancy to use any kind of natural remedy. You gotta work with your doctor on something like that. But historically, that's what it was used for. And so women would use it, especially after birth, because often you've heard that women struggle with postpartum depression or depression after the birth. And this was used historically. It's actually been put to the test and does it work? Motherwort was given its name because it historically was used in women's health issues. It was also used to lower blood pressure and other heart issues and as a sedative for depression. And people have found great success with certain heart issues like arrhythmias with it. Research was reported in the journal Phytotherapy Research or Plant Therapy Research research, and they had patients with hypertension or high blood pressure, anxiety, and sleep disorders take 1,200 milligrams of Leonoris oil extract.
extract or what is called LOE, aka motherwort oil extract for 28 days. And a significant improvement in depression was found in 32% of the people, 48% of people found a moderate benefit in depression, and 8% of people found a slight benefit. And that means 88% of people found some benefit to depression. Even if something doesn't work incredibly well, what if you could feel, I think there's even a book called something like 10% happier. What if you could feel a little bit happier? Something like this may be a benefit. Almost 90% of people found a benefit to this plant that was used historically, and now we have evidence-based research to back up its historical use. This next one, I absolutely love to grow. It is a beautiful flowering herb, and it is something that comes out with these beautiful purplish flowers, and pollinators love to come and fly around it and, and to take their nutriment from it, as well as the beautiful hummingbirds. And what a special experience to be able to watch them. And boy, if somebody struggles with depression, that's that right there is almost something to help lift your depression. And this particular herb, you may have never heard of, it's called Moldavian Balm. It has a wonderful aroma. When you, when you rub your hand through it and just put that, you know, your fingers to your nose, it has such a, a glorious smell. One of my favorite smells on planet Earth. And it has been said that this herb lightens a burdened heart. That's what it was said historically about it. Now they have put it to the test, but this test is a little interesting. Let's look at it. Research has been conducted on mice. So this is a rodent study looking at the antidepressant impact or effects of Moldavian balm. And it turned out that its effectiveness was statistically similar to using a drug medication. I gotta be honest with you. I'm not a person who loves these rodent studies or animal studies because number one, we never really know if it works in humans. Now, historically, it's been said to work in humans. They tried it on rodents and sure enough, it did work on them. I haven't been able to find a human study yet, but here's the thing. It has an incredible taste. You mix some honey in there with it. To be honest with you, I don't care if it helps with depression or not. It is one of the tastiest uh, herb teas that I've ever had in my entire life. So I love it either way. You could have an, a tea that you enjoy and it might lighten your discouraged heart in the process. It just might. This next one you might find growing wild around your house. It's a beautiful flower to keep around. I had to transplant this because we're putting some other things where this was. But this particular plant is called chamomile. Research has already shown that chamomile has been beneficial for people who struggle with anxiety, but it remained to be seen if it was beneficial for those who struggle with depression. An exploratory, double-blind, randomized, placebo-controlled study was conducted to see if chamomile, which is often used to help people fall asleep easier, would be helpful for people suffering from depression. So chamomile was administered in this study in 220 milligram capsules to the patients or a placebo. The conclusion of this study was that it may have a clinically meaningful impact on depression, though it does not sound like it is as impactful as the next and final remedy. But this next one is probably the best backed by science of any herb that I have been able to find. I was super excited to find on my property this particular natural remedy, which is probably one of the most scientifically backed natural remedies for depression. And you probably heard about it already, but you've got to hear the research on it. And this right here is St. John's wort. So here's St. John's wort versus placebo. A study of 105 people put on either placebo or 300 milligrams of St. John's wort three times a day. And 67% of the people taking St. John's wort lowered their levels of depression versus 28% in the placebo group. What's incredible is that 29 different studies with over 5,000 patients have been conducted looking at the effectiveness of St. John's wort. St. John's wort has been compared to placebo and different medications, including uh, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, also known as SSRIs, and tri or tetracyclic antidepressants. And it turns out that St. John's wort is as effective as the standard depression medications in research trials. And St. John's wort, according to the research, has fewer side effects than the drug medications. And the Journal of Clinical Psychopharmacology reported on St. John's wort versus what's called Prozac in a double-blind randomized control study. And St. John's wort was significantly more effective than both Prozac 
and placebo. I love that special passage that says he causes the grass to grow for the cattle and herb for the service of man that he may bring forth food out of the earth. We have been given certain plants, certain foods on planet earth to bring us not only better happiness, but also health that can just absolutely change our lives. And so I would suggest, number one, that you look into the research. Number two, make sure you're not taking any medications that may cause some kind of interactions with these things. Talk to your doctors. Uh, but the point is we have been given things in nature that are meant to be a blessing to us. If you struggle with some of these things, I have other videos on depression. There are other lifestyle factors that may be causing depression, actual physiological things taking place in the body. But these are some of the remedies that may benefit you to help you overcome some of the trials that you've been going through. Now, if you like this video, I have all kinds of research on various different health issues and ailments, natural remedies compared head to head with drug medication. You don't wanna miss this particular video right here. Well, if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. God bless and have a fantastic day.